Hello to all of my Cancers. Cancers, we are still in this waning gibbous moon phase. This reading is for the 3rd of December. Yes, we are actually in December. Can you believe it? <laughs> we're, actually, we're actually in December. This reading is for the 3rd of December. You may be actually watching it on the 2nd of December, but it's for the 3rd of December through the 3rd of January 2024, right? Whew, let's get into it. I'm talking to you if you have cancer anywhere in your birth chart, not just your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, but anywhere, anywhere in your birth chart. Let's get it, cancers. So the moon will be moving from Leo into Virgo, right? So when you watch this video, it may be still in Leo, right? So start thinking about the energies that have at least given you some kind of positive feedback on your nurturing. You know what I mean? Like, at bare minimum, thank you. I really appreciate you. You know, that kind of stuff, right? Think about that. So when it moves when it moves into Virgo, Virgo moon lights up our focus to detail and the ability to analyze pros and cons with a very practical and an objective eye. And um so I see you sitting down and kind of like meticulously looking through you know, where you may have felt nurtured, secure, and protected in what spaces did you feel nurtured on a job or, you know, your personal, your professional life. So let's get into it. Let's see what your cards have to say. I'm talking to you if you have cancer anywhere in your birth chart, saying a lot of wishes being fulfilled. Remember, we're in a cycle where you need to be talking directly to source. It's not when you're just letting stuff swirl around in your head, <laughs> like I'm serious, because this is where if you're not talking to anybody else, talking to source, because I don't see you feeling like a fold. There's still some energies that want to coexist with you when you got a machete in your hand, like, uh, uh nah, nah, buddy. <laughs> y'all trying to coexist after y'all try to make me look like a fool. No, thank you. It could be family members. It could be ex-colleagues, whoever it is that try to make you look like boo-boo the fool. Like you had a big stamp on your forehead and like you had a clown mask on and, and big floppy shoes and a hat. You like, oh, no, nah. you played yourselves. You played yourselves. Here we have the nine of cups. Yeah. All right, cancers. I see you. So I'm seeing, so I'm seeing that moving out of your way. See how this man has a machete in his hand? So it's just saying you're cutting out all obstacles in your life as you're moving forward. So that's what I'm seeing. I see somebody, that sunlight right there, there's all this green around you because there's really sources saying to you, you're taking a leap of faith into your new life, whoever you are, right? And so you're like, I don't see any obstacles coming my way. Somebody, somebody may think I'm a fool, you know, somebody, what's the name of that song? Um, I think the Beatles, uh, somebody, some may say that I'm a dreamer, like for real, somebody may say, oh, well, you're doing what? But see, these people who want to coexist with you, they don't even know what you're doing because you already tried. You, they already been tested and tried. You try to tell them about your big dreams in the past. And guess what? They try to make you feel like you were, you know, a ventriloquist doll. Like somebody had their hand in your back. <laughs> so so it's like, here we had the Dame of Swords. So you just need to get around some other dreamers for real. Some people who are ready to put some things, some, some things into motion and not try to make you feel bad. So here we have the four of swords and the king of swords. You just dealing with some people who decided, you know, they just have a negative way of thinking. They have a, they decided to land on the dark side of life. It's my way or the highway. You know, I, I, whatever, but you are saying, Hey, I've gone through some things in life where I may have felt foolish or I may have made some mistakes, but guess what? I decided that that was a, I'm, I'm still a divine being of light who's having a human experience. The end. Yeah. So yeah, there's some energies that want to coexist with you, but guess what the reason this, guess the real reason why you're not coexisting with some of those energies from the past is because in the past, you didn't know about pulling your birth chart and your moon rising Venus and all that. These are the planets now. This is your planetary alignments now. So the the cancer and the the you you are set apart from every other cancer on the other, on the universe. And so they may feel like one of these energies or some or several of these energies could be cancers, just like their sun sign could be cancers. But sources saying they not like you because because their moon rising Venus and other placements are, could be significantly different. And not only that, they could have a different calling on this plan. They could have a different assignment than you. So all you know is that I'm getting my rest. That's you right there. I'm getting my rest. This is a part of life. I'm not even stressing myself out anymore. So put that list together. Nine things. Here we had the um, Ace of Wands, the Page of Swords, the Six of Cups, King of Coins, Four of Swords, and the Moon card. Mm-hmm. So... And the reason why people want to coexist is this card right here. Don't even get it twisted. This is the wealthiest card in the deck. That's the only reason why people want. They want to come in off your blood, sweat, and tears after they played you like you was a clown 
and told everybody that you was a part of a circus. You couldn't control your emotions and all that. And, and now you want money? No, sir, and no, ma'am. <clears throat> so, yeah, your past is trying to resurface. People thinking about you right now. Talking about they got secrets. They know certain things about you. I mean, just... But they're still on a low frequency. You've already put your feelers out there. We've already heard what they talked about. So as it relates to you and other people. So it says two situations in particular from your past that want to resurface. You know, they sitting there smiling in your face like, like they had a wooden face. Like their jaw was actually built onto their face. <laughs> or Oh my God. Y'all know how the ventriloquist dolls look. They look like a, they, somebody, you know, like that was the last piece that they put to somebody's, the, the doll's face. It was like that, that chin that could just like, you know, it just drops. Anyway, sources like they coming up in your face. They want to, if they have an opportunity, they stand and they're smiling in your face. And this is you right here. Childlike faith, moving on to childlike faith, you know? And so just like I said, you kind of started looking back. You know, just through the many various stages of your lives that you're saying, I'm moving on. I'm moving on in faith. I don't have anything negative to say about these energies, but coexist. No, sir, and no, ma'am. Here we have the page of swords. Because here's the here's the real catcher. We are all connected on this planet. But see, they don't know that. They want to be connected because of money. And that's it. They want to be, even if you look at your bank account right now and say, well, where's all this money she talking about? It's your intellect. It's your, what are you using your time for? Are you cutting into your time because you're overthinking something time slash money because you're overthinking the hurt, the pain, the, you know, buffoonery that you left behind the circus. Are you, or, or are you saying, okay, my third eye is wide open. I'm getting messages coming through. Why? Because we had a full moon in Gemini and the moon is moving through Virgo and Virgo and Gemini are ruled by Mercury, which is currently pre shadow <laughs> retrograde right now. So this is a pretest. So I need to go ahead and get my sleep. I need to go ahead and get my rest, whatever that looks like for you. So if, if you say, Hey, eight of those 24 hours a day, I'm going to use for rest. Guess what? However, rest, whatever that looks like. Does that look like lying down and watching the movie, resting your brains, whatever that means, <laughs> you know? So source is saying to you, just move on in childlike faith. Cause your, your past is definitely trying to resurface. Some people caught wind that, Hey, you know, Oh, cancer's moving on with their life. They not, they not sitting around, you know, letting grass grow under their feet. Uh, mm, mm. here we go here we go here we go here we go mm, mm, mm. here's the hermit card this is virgo's card right here remember i said virgo the virgo moon lights up our focus to detail and the ability to analyze pros and cons with a practical and objective eye sources saying leave your past behind all parts of it emotionally leave it behind you know when people are saying i hope they get the help that they need that's that's that door still there's still a crack in your universe seal it off <laughs> you don't hope to, listen that's between them and the energy they put out into the universe because some people from your past want to play the old bait and switch i'm serious and somebody gonna have to somebody is i'm telling you i hope nobody has to learn the hard way to move on like um, causing yourself extra stress of going through this rebirth right because source is saying what is the motive what is the reason why people want to burn you? What is the reason why? Because again, somebody wants you to get you. Um, let me just tell you. Somebody wants you emotionally off kilter. They want to say that you crazy. Okay. That's, that's, they want to say that you crazy. You are stable. And now somebody can turn around and take some of this wealth away from you. I'm telling you, it's not a genuine, sincere. Oh, Hey, um, you know, cancer, um, I, you know, um, I heard you started a new job and, you know, I was just calling to say congratulations. They shouldn't even be able to get through. You have a loved one on the other side that's saying, hey, look, you have a guardian angel on the other side that's saying you're worthy. You're good enough. You've always been good enough. And these energies trying to come back into your life, trying to make somebody die. Somebody, whoever died is saying to you, do not coexist with them. It, I mean, it don't get any clearer than this cancer. I can't even say it another way. <laughs> Somebody who died said, look, you you got a machete in your hand. I don't care if they think you're foolish. Because like I said, see this for this person, the full card and upright means somebody feels changed, liberated, and free. I feel free from all of that. They said, if you try to coexist with those types of spirits again, I don't even know what to tell you. If you, you got all this fire in you, use some fire to, to blaze a trail to create another stream of income. Because that's what Source is trying to tell you is to tap into your strength. Tap into your strength. Because those types of energies 
first of all, don't want your light to shine. That's first and foremost. That's first and foremost. And here we have the six of swords. As disappointed as you are, make some kind of movement to get away from that because you could be thinking, you could be thinking, um, let me see what I'm looking at here on the cards. You could be thinking some time has passed, right? Because you're a nurturing spirit and it's like, okay, you know, maybe people weren't mature, you know, maybe people will have grown up or matured or become wiser or whatever. So it's just saying, look, when I tell you to move on from these energies, don't look back, period. Okay. Don't turn into a pillar of salt because I got to stay connected to something. Don't look back. Don't look back. Find a silver lining, something that you don't have anything negative to say about them. And it may be harder for some people. You don't have anything negative to say about them. I, that's just not, I, that we're just not on the same frequency. We're just not on the same frequency. Move on. Because some of those people that you connected with, you may look at it as like, oh, well, they don't know any better. You know, one day they'll grow up and mature. The only way they may have to come back in and say, I'm not attached to none. I don't need, don't bring me no information about whomever. They don't even exist anymore. That's going to sound harsh and cruel to somebody, but it looks like the amount of hurt that somebody has gone through in their past. Why in the world would you want to be connected to anything that's going to, you know, bring back up those memories? Here it is. Further inf Three times, get your rest, get your rest, get your rest. Somebody has really gone through it. And like I said, Source is trying to fast track you. Here we have the eight. Here we have the eight of wands. Source is saying, look, Source is trying to make some things happen for you real fast. It's a pivotal point in your life right now. So I'm telling you, if you don't do, don't do anything else during this cycle, as we close, as we getting closer and closer to this last quarter moon phase, and this is where you're going to finish strong, is start, increase that prayer life for real. Source, thank you in advance. Thank, go boldly before the throne. Source, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for getting me as far away from certain energies as fast as... <laughs> oh, oh <my laughs> Let me tell y'all, cancers, some of these earthlings are a trip. Source, as fast as these wheels <laughs> can get me away. Ooh, source, get me away from certain energies because I don't know what planet they on. Here we have the queen of wands. Yeah, so I see you feeling, actually, it's going to be your attitude towards source. Actually, it's going to be your attitude that's going to determine your altitude, really. I mean, in all seriousness, your spirituality, your gratitude, just, you know, I'm saying here we have the king of cups and in your, in your mood, right? Like, no negative. I mean, seriously, no negativity. When you think about all the energy, you all the talking about it, all the anger, the frustration, the confusion, the mental fog, you've dealt with some people want, I'm telling you, listen, somebody could want you to coexist with some energies that you already picked up on that narcissistic spirit. You were like, mm -mm, nah, nope, I'm good. <laughs> I'm real I'm real good. I'd rather put my motivation behind making some more money so people can say what they want to say. But see, you're the mother and money sign. I'm not mothering that. Nope. And I'm talking to men and women cancers. In other words, I'm not nurturing that toxic energy because my water is too precious. My water is better served with energies that source has assigned to me because there's no way in the world source says, uh, look, I sent that energy across your path to show you would not to nurture because let me work on them. Source says, now nah, let me work on them because there's certain energies out here. They always plan to bait and switch. But see, it's something in your spirit that caught that, that, that I rolled and caught that, you know, uh, sarcasm, something in your spirit caught that. And then people don't want to be around you. They don't want to be around you for that reason alone, because your light is irritating some people's demons. Uh, that's the only way I can say it. Your light has been irritating some people's demons. And when I said, <laughs> yeah, so y'all look, okay. These y'all need to start making me laugh. Look, uh, when I tell you that these demons are out of control, that's why so much fire here in the cars. That's why so much air in the cars, because somebody has been, you know, like letting that toxicity sit. It's like somebody letting ashes and whatever, whatever dirt from sword cuts sit in your water and just sit there and fester and source said mm -mm. 
and and you work so hard to start saying positive stuff to yourself like you saying positive mantras and you work so hard to get your rest and get into your meditative state. You have worked so hard, Cancer, to get away from certain types of energies. And they want to resurface. I'm telling you, it's all about money. It's, it's the fact that you've learned how to... And let me just say this for somebody who may be looking at their bank account like, well, where's the money? I, I thought I was supposed to have money. Time is money. It's the fact that you have been investing in yourself and your own personal growth. Okay, so let's look at money that way, Okay. You have been investing in your own personal growth. And there are some people who want to come back around and prove to everybody they lied to about you that something is still wrong with you. Like something is wrong as if you haven't, as if they haven't evolved. They see, they want everybody to see their evolution, but they don't want to see other people's evolution. Listen, you ain't even dignifying it with a response. You like, get on away from here with that craziness. So yeah, it's the old, the old bait and switch. I think I mentioned to you all a while ago how some people will pop up at whatever, wherever you work, you call you, whatever. They may even have other people to call you, you know, to see, okay, I mean, can you hear anything in their voice? You don't know, like I know, uh -uh, when I knew them, they only, they may have only known you for one chapter of your life and you could have been dealing with death of loved ones. You could have been dealing with a death of a marriage. You could have been dealing with a whole bunch of stuff. You could have been dealing with a death right of a person a, a person you love and they want to base your whole life on one chapter listen somebody need they need to go sit down somewhere for real they need to go sit down somewhere and drink some water and mind their business here we have the um the king of wands and also the eight of wands double speeding up stuff so it's just like i'm look i'm uh, Look, pedal straight, <laughs> straight to the metal. Here you have the king of wands. You got all these great ideas. Don't give them any of your fire, any of them. I wonder what people are up to. I wonder why people from my past want to resurface. Don't even wonder. That's outside of your universe. Focus your ideas on moving forward. Okay, so if you gave me ideas about creating a business that's going to help change somebody else's life. Okay, okay, tell me a little bit more about that, God. That's what I want to hear, but I don't care about what they got going on. I'm not giving it any air because fire needs air to breathe. No, I'm not giving that any more fire. No, I mean, no more air. I'm not blowing on it. I'm not talking about it. I'm not overthinking about it. I'm not looking at my, my eyeballs. I'm not glaring, you know, like glaring at it. <laughs> here we are. Ah, here we have the ten of, um, ten of swords. Because again, you remember all those stab wounds in your back. All the times that people stood around and betrayed you, lied, lied on you, lied to you. Psst. Anyway, here you go. Six of swords twice. I'm moving on from the disappointment. I'm not even, this is you right here. I'm not even uh -uh, talking about coexist. They have to be on something. <laughs> you don't even know what, you don't even know, need to know what it is, but I, they not on something. They actually simmering in their own personal hell. That's what's happening. If, if somebody need to know, because this card right here speaks it. If, if this, if you don't see here anything else in this reading, these people are all um, steaming in their own personal Hades. Here we have the two of hearts and also the jack of hearts. And so sources say you had to learn how to save yourself. And when, because you learn how to save yourself away from those energies, like I said, you don't have anything to prove. You got soulmate energy coming across your path to help you. That's all. And, and soulmate energy, like I said, you could already be in a relationship with somebody, your soulmate already, right? That energy is just like, you don't need to go back to all of that. Because that's the that's the real, you all, you all know how to speak each other like speak covering to each other whoever that soulmate is or if it, it could be coming across your path because i do see somebody traveling starting online businesses opportunities coming your way for money i mean why in the world would you throw yourself back into a fiery pit why would you do that to yourself when you can toss their name into a burning bowl some of y'all could be looking at a burning bowl right now like okay if i start tossing names in it <laughs> Here we are, number 27, I am expressive, right? So your mind is wide open and you are tolerant and compassionate towards all the ways of life. You value freedom of expression and you want to improve the conditions of people, whether your country, your community, or the world at large. See, this is the frequency that you're on. You're on this frequency, a rebirth frequency. You're not, somebody is not interested. The dark side of the number nine are dealing with people who are tyrannical. They are just they are um resentful of just life and if i can't 
if, if somebody strikes any kind of match in them and they, they they will even conjure up stuff and make up stuff about other people to burn people's reputation and like where's the card king of pen is all centered around this king of coins so it says don't put any energy to it whatsoever none if it comes up in your mind switch the subject in your mind replace that negative thought about somebody with something positive i don't have anything negative to say or think about whomever or whatever because i'm telling you that's a choice that people wake up and they choose that they wake up and choose to try to ruin other people's lives because they that's how they feel about themselves yep so there's some energies that's definitely going through some stuff and you don't want it. You don't want any parts of it. You only want to be associated. When we see night energy in here, where do I see night? Night. Yep. Night of cups. Somebody definitely wants to prove a point as far as you're concerned. Just so we're clear, Cancer. Somebody definitely wants to prove a point. There's something about you. They know something about you that would drive people, that would drive you crazy. So when you write out your nine wish fulfillment source, thank you that they have no access to me whatsoever. That's you. Here we have affirmation for beauty. I am a masterpiece. I honor my inner beauty. I am one of a kind. I am beautiful as I am. True beauty starts from within. Each part of me is essential for the current moment. So if you know that you're beautiful inside and you had a chapter in your life or a couple of chapters in your life where you were processing... See, here's the thing, too, when I look at your cards, too, um, Cancer. Some people have one thing happen after another. Like, somebody could literally be going through And I mentioned this on my Aries channel years ago when um, this person gave me permission to share um, their testimony um, and how they were going through hell both in their personal life and their professional life. And I'm talking about not to measure one person's hell over the other, but this person was going through everything and the way that God came through and wiped all of that stuff out, just like one fell swoop, just, just got all of it off of their plate. That's what, when I look at your cards here, when people are going through this kind of stuff, like going through death, going through a rebirth, whether it's a death of a job, death of a friendship, death of a, you know, like something is just finite. It's over. Like you, and you got to sit there and think, wow, I, I've been friends with this person for years and I never thought this friendship was in. It does feel like people don't talk about that enough, how like that literally feels like a death. Like I'm I'm not friends with this person anymore for whatever reason, whether they were forcibly ripped from your life because you found out they betrayed you or lied to you, or it could have been a gentle, like, okay, they moving away and they have different interests and stuff. However that feels, source is saying to you, look, there's a lot of people out here that's not you know, not compassionate towards that. They, they got, they got the, the, the spiritual, you know, like they, I mean, religious, we talking about religion. We got, we got the, some people got this religious, all oh, we stand together. We got on, we got on all of this and that and so on and so forth. But, hmm, uh, cancer, cancer can't look when they, when they first said cancer can't stand with us. That's what they were saying at first. Cancer can't stand with us because we have all of this and we got all of that going on. And now that source has elevated you. Now people want to coexist with you. So it's like, you're not holding a grudge at all. Nope. You're not holding a grudge. You just don't, you're not making space for that. So that's what I have for you, cancers. That is what I have for you. That's what I have for you. Let me get a question, give you the questions for the moon and Virgo. For those of you all who want the questions for the moon and Virgo. First question is, are you ready to define what you no longer need or want with a practical and objective eye? Second question is, can you define what's yours to fix and what's not in your life? Third question is, do you feel any fear about around being fully self-sufficient and independent? Fourth question is, how could you learn from nature? And then last but not least is, could you share your free time and your energy in a valuable and charitable way? Yeah. So those are your, like I said before... You don't have any, hopefully, you don't have anything negative to say, audibly, uh, expression, like no connect, no negative communication to say, this is where you just know, you just know. It's like, it's literally like, okay, hey, it, it is what it is. I choose to land on the light side of life. That was just a, there were some chapters in my life or whatever. And people are still, so like I said, people wanting to coexist, it would be like this, um, cancer if you could think of it this way they still have whoever these energies are they still have this god complex type of spirit this pride and this arrogance 
instead of them apologizing to you for what they did to you while you were going through a death, they would look like look at it as like, okay, um, we we thought we we um we 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 were just giving you some time to mature. There is no apology in sight. That's what I'm saying. The old bait and switch, you're not interested. That's what I have for you, cancers. Keep on moving forward. I don't see any obstacles ahead that you know for you whatsoever. But like I said, you have a loved one who transitioned and says, Hail to the null. And and I'm not saying this to be funny at all, but they're saying to you, if you go back to that old bait and switch and them games and trying to be connected with those types of energies, you it, it's not even hold on. Some of those energies may not reach back out to you directly. They'll have other people to reach out to you because they know if they called you, click, it wouldn't even be a conversation. They know if they stop past your office, you'd be like, security, <laughs> get this out of get this out of my office. If if they if they if somebody mentioned their name, you stop, you're detached from them. So you gotta know the spirit of who's connected to whom. And you gotta also gotta read between the lines. People will tell you what associations they're what they're associated with. They'll tell you, you know, what companies they work for, all that kind of stuff. And so it's the same. Like I said before, cancers, you you all got it. You got it. So it's just saying just staying strong, stay stay. You know, there's some energies from your past that feel like they would just, you know, you would, you would, they got some secrets. Like, it's like, what is it called? This is what it's all about. If you can just keep that at the forefront, you put so much time slash money into yourself. You invested so much in your own healing from death. You don't know how long there is no expiration date on death, on grieving. You don't know how long you've been grieving and what you were grieving. And so people want to come in on a finished product and act like, oh, we can all align ourselves together. Hey, you learn how to align with your own, your own, um, it's just that your path is just different. It's your mission is just different from theirs. That's what it really boils down to is that your mission is, and, and guess what? Everybody, all their mission too is if they really paid attention is to also, uh, do they play their part in helping to better mankind? They just didn't see you as doing it either. So that that's what was exposed. That's what was exposed is like, oh, how in the world can cancer, the homebody, inspire and motivate so many people? Well, they weren't they weren't they weren't counting on social media, right? They weren't counting on that. How can cancer, the homebody, the one that's a hermit, this is hermit energy, sit in the house? overanalyzing thing, little Mr. or Miss Perfect, how can they, you know, how can they be so spiritual and help so many people just from the house? Yeah, that's social media. They weren't counting on that. So bottom line is you got some people out here that they, they like I said, they, they want to coexist with you, Cancer, because um, you're on to something. But guess what? You were, you were born on to something. You're the money and the mother sign, right? So where there's some people, they they crave the spotlight so much. People, they, they ram themselves down people's throats so much with their, just their arrogance and all of that stuff. People are just like, I don't, you, you, you're you very triggering. It's, their energy is triggering. But for you, homebody, like, look, you, you know what I'm saying? So it's just, like I said, but that's what I have for you, Cancers. Again, like a, you're landing on the light side of the number nine. Somebody's in good spirits. You work hard on yourself. You've invested in yourself, Cancer. So good job, for real. Good job. You actually deserve all the happiness, for real, that your hands and your heart can hold. And I know that came from somebody's movie, but for real, that's what you deserve. When I look at when I look at your cards here, because, <sighs> yeah. I will see you all on, um, I will see you all on motivation on Monday. So like I said, this, this, this is for Sunday. Um, and, um, keep on inspiring people. Cause I'm telling you, we need more nurturing. I'm talking about healthy nurturing energies out in the universe. And a lot of people don't miss that fresh water until the well runs dry. And they got to look around with all the other people that are blow torching and talking negative and messy and and all kinds of stuff. you don't want to have anything to do with it that's what i have for you and i will see you all on motivational monday bye